Houston, we have a problem. Look, I love this reaction because it might just be the final push I need to start using painkillers. You all remember this one, I put my six brain cells to work and had this printed. But in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can make a colored lithophane, and for that reason, you should definitely like this video. Oh, you can see. Wait, wait, black and white picture? Are oh, you born 1995? Yes. Do you have sociopathic tendencies? Yeah. 3D printed lithophane, hard piece of plastic. I've covered it one too many times before. 2020, 1995, 2020, 1995. And here comes the most boring part of the entire video because I can literally see you leave. Uh, let's pick the line as if I haven't done that before. And there is nothing. There is nothing you got to do in edit. You can uh, change the RGBs and uh, brightness, but you don't have to. Model. I like to change from plain to arc. That way, uh, you see the image gets uh, arky, and uh, that way it can stand on itself. And now you can change the height and, and the size. I hear bigger is better. Try to keep it less than 200, that way you can print the paper version all on one page. The angle, I like to bring it down to 50. <laughs> You're gonna end up with a file for your 3D printer and a file for your normal printer. And the picture looks, looks kind of messed up and it has to do with the brightness and the contrast to, to which degree it can penetrate the plastic. And, uh, and I'm explaining this as if I knew anything I was talking about. The settings, which you can pause and look at if you wish, have been dialed in to only give me headaches occasionally, which I do kind of like. And this is with the Creality CR10 V2, very nice. Now you shall enjoy a time lapse of a completely different picture being printed because I didn't think this through at all. Enjoy. Yep. Wow, that's really good, especially for a printer without the cables plugged in. Once you have printed some pictures and some lithophanes, you're ready to see the reaction of your hard work pays off to your friends. In my case, that's just gonna be family because I have no friends. I actually ended up using the spray glue instead of this clear crap tape to attach the paper on the back of the lithophane and that seems to work quite well. I think it's time for a little music and uh, a transition to, uh, to the lithophanes. Enjoy! I mean, this is just straight up one of the most satisfying things you can do on a 3D printer. And this is what they look like without the light behind them. Pretty cool. Also, I'm working on a realistic Kobe Bryant model. Any team, any organization that wants it, shoot me an email, boom boom, or comment down below. Okay, thank you very much. Have an awesome day. Bye. Okay, shoot, I forgot to mention one thing. I will be at 3D Meetup Sweden March of 14th. If you want to see me, talk to me, punch me, whatever. <laughs>